welcome back to my channel today is very interesting because it is a video nestled in a cute little vlog the vlog will come at a later date just because those take me longer to film and edit and upload but videos like these are short and sweet and i'm very excited to bring to you my makeup collection and organization video this is an updated video and i'll be sure to link the previous ones in the description box down below you guys really responded and loved my last one and i'm pretty sure it was probably because it was such an aesthetically beautiful video i worked really hard on that video and i was at like that prime moment in my life where i just knew how i wanted my youtube videos to look and i've been lost ever since uh i'm pretty excited because my makeup collection is due for another purge ahead of the sephora vib sale i went from using three muji containers to one and i still don't use everything and i'm very very happy with the direction that it's going and it is my hope to have even less stuff for my next makeup collection video which will probably be in another three years like the last one so let's get into my makeup collection all right everyone so this is pretty much my setup this is a muji organizer i haven't actually switched this out since my last video and i think this was in my makeup collection video before my last one too so i've had this specific container for quite some time now they last super super long i haven't had any issues with it it is a little dirty so forgive me my brushes are here they're a bit dirty but uh because i just used them obviously i put makeup on for this video but i wanted to include them for the purposes of this video i also have a beauty blender i'm not entirely sure where that one is and oddly enough that's probably the one that's clean i just kind of use recycled um, candle jars these are from diptyque and they look like that the very first diptyque candle i ever ever purchased back in 2016 if i'm not mistaken and so I've been using this empty jar since then. I have some Sephora, mostly MAC Real Techniques and some Quoll brushes. And then this little brush right here from Merit is so super soft. I apologize, it's dirty, I used it today. Um, but this is where I store all of my brushes and I've had these brushes for years and years. My other candle jar, um, this one is the Diptyque Roses candle jar. And in here, I like to kind of keep all of my I guess this is my eye stuff and then I have a couple lip stuff in here as well. So this is my Merit Beauty um, eyebrow pomade. This is really nice. I thoroughly, I really, really enjoy this one from Merit. Um, if you guys haven't seen my Merit video trying out their products, um, I link it down below, but I absolutely love their products and it's that's the makeup that I'm using a lot of right now. I also have a couple of mascaras in here. So I have my Merit mascara as well as um, this one from Hourglass, I believe. Um, I also have my Hourglass eyebrow pencil. And this I've been using, not this specific pencil, I've repurchased it, but this I've been using since I got married. I absolutely love this, definitely a rebuy. And then I have a couple lip products from Fenty Beauty. This one is Uncensored, and the other one is Uncuffed. These are her Stunna lip paints, and I absolutely love these. I have my Tatcha liquid silk canvas this is a primer i quite like this i don't love it i want to finish it and then i'm going to be switching back to my saint laurent tisha clap blur primer that was my absolute favorite and so once this is done i'm switching back to that but so far so good it's not horrible it's just i just don't love it as much as that one and i have my giorgio armani luminous silk foundation this foundation i've worn once it's too dark for me um, but i think this is my sister's perfect shade so i'm gonna give this to her so rochelle if you're watching this this foundation has your name on it um this is from merit as well it is their raspberry beret cheek color i also use this as a lip color sometimes it's just a little thing in a pot it gives really nice color um so it makes a really great brush blush and plus i really love uh the shade so quite like this one this is my hourglass veil translucent setting powder i'm not a huge fan of setting powders in general i rather just kind of not set my makeup as you guys have seen in previous videos um, but this one is quite nice so that is it for everything that is on top now we're into the top drawer here and this is where i keep 
um, a lot of kind of like my little beauty tools as well as some concealers, highlighters, foundation sticks. I got some perfumes in there. It's just kind of like a hodgepodge of things that don't really go, but because they don't go, they go, if that makes any sense. I have my Bobbi Brown foundation stick, which I've had forever and a day. I'm pretty sure it's expired now. My all-time favorite concealer. This is the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer. And I use this one as a highlight. This shade is medium dark 2.5 chestnut. This is my Merit uh, Perfection, Perfect Complexion Stick, I believe this is called. Uh, Perfecting Complexion Stick. This one is really, really good. This is what I use right now as my foundation because it's kind of like that sweet spot between a foundation and a tinted moisturizer. It is quite nice in terms of the coverage and I thoroughly, thoroughly enjoy using this. Um, my shade in this one is Tiger Eye. If you guys are interested, I highly recommend it. And if I'm not mistaken, Merit is actually available in Sephora now. So this is really something that I would recommend getting from the brand if you get nothing else. My Dior Forever Skin Correct. Not a huge fan of this concealer, mainly probably because it's just a tad too light for my skin tone. Um, this is really good in the winter time though, but as soon as it starts getting a little bit warmer, then this um, shade doesn't really work for me. I have my Fenty Beauty Truffle. Um, this is the Matchsticks. I bought this initially as a, cons as a contour, but here's the thing. It is too light for a contour and too dark for my skin tone if that makes any sense it just kind of looks muddy on my skin there's nothing wrong with it it just comes off a bit gray so this doesn't really work for me which means this is probably going to get passed on as well um, because it's the shade just doesn't really work and i'm honestly not a huge huge fan of the formula please do not come for me it's just not really something that i don't know my skin just doesn't respond very well to that this one is from Merit. This is the Balance Highlighting Balm. I love this as a highlighter. It's also what I've been using. I've used it today, but it gives just a nice glowy finish, which is not too, too kind of overwhelming. I quite like this. It just gives you a nice kind of like dewy glow. And then back here, I have two perfumes. I have my Diptyque Rose. I haven't pulled this out in ages. I've had this for so long. I'm pretty sure it's lost its um, its potency, but I have that. And then this is from Atelier Cologne. This is the Cedra, Cedra Atlas. Love this. This reminds me of, like, if you're a huge fan of Tom Ford's Oud Wood or Le Labo Santal, I think it's 23, then you'll love this one from Atelier Cologne. This is a really, really lovely one. The perfumes are quite pricey, so I bought the small one to test it out if I like it. Unfortunately, I can't wear fragrances at school, and as a result, I just don't end up wearing fragrances as much anymore, so I don't buy full size. I have my NARS sharpener. I have a little old mascara wand that I use for my brows. And then I have some lip pencils in the corner here as well as an eyeliner from Chantecaille. Absolutely love this one. Definitely a bit of a splurge, but highly worth it. So that's my top four. Oh, and then I have this makeup remover bit makeup eraser. This was kind of like a gift with purchase that came in like a Sephora order I made. So I keep it because it's quite nice and, and um, I use it to help me get my makeup off with like some um, oil cleansers and stuff. Second drawer is lipsticks. I want to get this pared down. I don't use a lot of these, but a, a couple of them are um, tried and trues that I'll probably never get rid of or always repurchase just for the sake of having it. For example, I have Ruby Woo in here. Um, what else is in here that's like one of my favorites? Uh, Spirit. I love Spirit. I also love Whirl. Um, and Rebel. Those are my favorite MAC lipsticks. I have a couple Tom Fords in here. This was a stocking stuffer for Christmas. This is called, this is their lip color Shine. It was a stocking stuffer from Hina and it's called number nine Insidious. This one is Velvet Cherry. And then this is a lip shine, tinted lip oil called Sangria from Merit Beauty or Merit. 
it's just a light tint very beautiful the lip product that i'm wearing today this one is from nars this is their power matte lip pigment and the shade is done it again it's just a really pretty kind of like reddish brown chocolate shade and then down here i have my highlighters and i have a couple this one is from fenty beauty this is their kilowatt uh freestyle highlighter duo i don't use this often this one is mean money and hustla baby if i can get it open oh it's a little dirty but it looks like that um two very very beautiful kind of highlighter shades though doesn't get um, much use but they're still very very gorgeous and I highly recommend it for summertime actually this might actually get a lot of use this summer this is the hourglass um, ambient lighting edit mm, I love this I think it's very very beautiful to look at I think it would make a really gorgeous makes for beautiful Instagram photos I'm not gonna lie actually love using these two together as kind of like a blusher and this one gives a lovely highlight for the cheekbone I have the hourglass ambient lighting powder this one is in radiant light quite love this one this one I love to use this one as a setting powder actually if I'm being honest with you I'm a huge hourglass fan I think they make amazing powders and mascaras um, and their veil mineral primer is also really really good actually their entire everything they make is really really good and they're cruelty free if you're looking for a cruelty free cruelty free luxury beauty brand highly recommend hourglass but the radiant light is really lovely because um, it makes like i said a really lovely setting powder um, it's quite translucent so it doesn't really show up on your skin it just gives it like a really nice glow and i love 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 this one that is pretty much my entire makeup collection all right everyone that is it for my makeup collection video i want to thank you so much for taking the time to watch i so 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 appreciate you i think it is very important to note that this channel will not exist without subscribers so thank you for subscribing thank you for watching my channel and i hope to see you in my next video which will be a vlog so see you guys soon